Well, it's time. What time is it, you say? It's time to get rid of this gray hair. Today I'm going to do a new hair dye video. The uh, lighting really sucks right now, so I don't know if you can really tell how bad it is, but I'll get in better light in just a second to show you how bad it is. First, I want to talk about what I'm going to be dyeing my hair with. It's absolutely horrible. It's called Color Easy. And uh, the S in Easy has been replaced with a Z. So that's pretty cool. I found this hair dye at the dollar store. So I'm a little concerned about that. But I also just didn't want to spend that much money. And I thought it'd be really fun to make a video using uh, dollar store hair dye. Because you never know, it might turn out to be really awesome. And and you all could save a whole bunch of money. Probably not, but we'll see. I'm just trying to figure out where this stuff was made. Distributed by American Consumer Products, Los Angeles, made in China. So yeah, it's number one. It's black. Permanent cream hair color, one application. Uh, yeah. The one thing that I have been doing this time around that I haven't done in my other videos and my other hair dyeing experience is I've, I've been using conditioner. I got my hair cut not that long ago and the lady was commenting on how thick it was and all that. She wanted to know what I used to wash it with and all of that. And I just told her I, I use I use shampoo, but I don't use conditioner. And she freaked out on me, and she says you really really need to wear to use conditioner. So I I did. Let's get a better shot at my hair before and after, and take a look at what's in this dollar store hair dye box. No, let there be light. So now I've got four CFLs shining down on me. Should provide a decent amount of light here. Um, oh yeah, you can definitely tell it's gray or white. My whole hair looks kind of funny right now compared to what it used to because normally I always have it dyed and this is the first time it's like my whole head is my natural color which is surprisingly brownish and it's just absolutely freckled with gray hair and that's crap. Right? It's crap. You know it's crap. You want to look good. You want to look younger than you really are. Especially if you're like me, 28, and look like you're 40. So uh, let's take a peek at what's in the box. Well, it looks pretty standard, and that's good because that freaks me out a bit. The bathroom's a mess, so I don't really want to get too many camera views of that. <laughs> it's the developer thing. Of course, you pour this thing into the other bottle and shake it, and you should have... Yeah, oh, cool. Gloves and after color conditioner, which of course you use in the shower to make sure you don't fry your hair out. Instructions. Leave on for 30 to 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, I really don't like this stuff already. I wish I got in the just for men stuff because, wow, that's like five minutes and you, and you rinse it off. So this is going to pretty much suck, but I'm going to do it anyway because after all, it's Dollar Tree hair color and that's just awesome. A couple of first impressions here. I used the entire bottle to apply this stuff to my hair. And as you saw before, I don't have that much hair, but it took the entire bottle to sort of get it done. And there's still some certain spots that aren't as wet as I thought they'd be. As you can see, if you get it on your skin, which there are ways to avoid this that I don't really do, it's not as dark as the other stuff. The gloves actually fit me. They weren't hard to put on. And it the, the odor is a little strong, which is, eh, you know, some of, the, some of the cheaper ones are a little stronger than the others. But it's in my hair, so we're going to set the timer and see how this stuff turns out. But first impressions are, they don't give you enough. So if you're a girl, good luck on making this work out because I had really short hair and it didn't, <laughs> it barely covered it. And it smells really strong and you're supposed to keep it on your hair for a while. 
It's been on for 30 minutes and I do have to admit it looks a lot darker than I thought it would based on the color of the mix and all of that. So now it's time to rinse it out and see what I get. Let's see how it works. Well, it turned out really good for being Dollar Tree, Dollar Store hair dye. So I'm fresh out of the shower and don't you hate it when you freaking go in the shower and you leave your towel in the other room? That's, that's really annoying. But as you can see, or not see, depending on how the camera wants to work, <clears throat> all the gray, white hair is gone. The only thing left is nice dark hair that looks like it belongs on someone much younger than myself. So, I like the way I look and it looks a little like it's somebody else's hair. I got used to seeing it kind of faded out because my hair almost gets some reddish tint to it naturally when the sun's out during the summer it just tends to fade a little bit and then when you mix in all the uh, salt and pepperiness of my hair it just looks really awful I'd say for dollar store hair dye color stuff it actually doesn't really look that bad at all uh, the only thing I noticed was you know it does smell real strong uh, you get little tiny flaky particle things coming off in your hands as you're rinsing your hair out which is kind of strange because you wonder if the hair dye is going to stick because of that. After color conditioner is really watery and they give you more of it than you really need. I wish they substituted it by giving you more hair dye itself but you got to work with what you're given I suppose. The way it turned out really nice. If you guys have any questions uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. I have a few other hair dye videos uh, on my channel mixed in with all the other random uh, stuff that I do that you guys can check out and I'd love to get your feedback on as well. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.